Okay, so today I'm really excited. It's the first candling of the season. First, I'm going to start by telling you and showing you about my candler that I made. Here it is. Last year I had one that was um, a little bit bigger and um, basically it's flashlight. And this is a toddler toy that um, came in a block set that belongs to one of my children. And um, I actually, actually have two. Um, this one is the perfect size um, for goose eggs. But right now we're doing chicken, so I'm using this one. And, huh, I dropped it. I'll get it later. Okay. Anyways, my old one used to fit in there snugly. This one is a little bit too small. So basically all I did is to create that extra space so that it's in there tight and doesn't lose any light is I put a little um, hair, what do you call it, hair band, I don't know. My children call them pretties. Because they make you pretty. Okay. So I fit in there nice and snug. And then you turn it on, put the egg here. It will shine a light through, and you'll be able to see inside of the egg. Let's get started. First thing I want to do is I want to show you a regular egg from my refrigerator to show you what it looks like to see a clear egg. And also, let's see, I'm going to adjust the focus. This egg came from my refrigerator, and then you can see completely through it. It's completely clear, meaning that all of the light passes right through. What we should see is this right here. Some spidery veins coming out, and we should also see the air pocket. Um, if it, This is the clear one that I just showed you. You can't really see the yolk in that much detail, but it's there. Um, if you see the red ring, that means uh, death, early death, and uh, we probably won't be seeing any of the other things or this is also early death. This is infertile, this is early death, this is good. Okay, now let's get started for real. That is from the instructions from the rinse machine. Temperature is running steady at 99.5. And I also need to check the water level on this incubator as well. So, let me take off the lid. Oh boy, I'm getting so excited. I'm trying to turn it so you can see. Well, I'll just leave it like that. Okay. First egg to get candled. Brown eggs are harder to see. Oh, I see veins. I can see them right over here. Oh boy, it's fertile. Oh, and I see them over here too. Wonderful. <gasps> it's moving. The little baby chicken's moving in there. Amazing. Oh, there's a little baby in there. Yay. Fertile. Okay, let's check the next one. Try and get through this. Yep, I see the veins. I know it's hard to see on the camera, um, but you can definitely see that it's not clear. This mass is the, is the uh, embryo inside. And I can see the veins because I'm seeing it with the naked eye and I know it's hard for you to see. That's okay. It's there. So my black ostrilarp eggs are fertile. That's great news. However, this one is clear. This one does not look like it has a baby inside. It's 
So this one is either not fertile or early death. I will inspect it and see that it's not viable. This one is good. I can see veins. This one is good. This one is good. And boy, so far, five out of six, doing good. This one is good. This one looks clear. Is it clear? Yep, I don't see anything going on in there. Okay. This one is good. I can see veins. I can see mass. This one is good. This one is good. Okay, those are the black ostrover eggs. We're moving on to the Delaware eggs. This one is good, and I can see the veins very clearly. I know that this is kind of a... I wonder if I could change this focus to, a, to be even better. Let me try it. Good. This one is, has a little bit of dirt on it. It's hard to see, but I can see the mass, so it's counts a good egg. This is great. My Delaware eggs are fertile. Here is a Delaware egg. I saw some embryo movement in there. You can see the the veins over here. That's a vein. That's a Movement? Embryo movement? Oh, it's moving. Baby moving in there. See it? Wonderful. Delaware eggs are fertile. Oh, my phone's going off. Please excuse the phone going off. Fertile. Delaware and black ostrilorp eggs are fertile. Great news. This one is fertile. You can see the veins coming down like this. Lots of, lots of fertile eggs. This one is also fertile. I can see veins, even though it's hard. This is the egg sac up here, which will get progressively larger. I can see veins coming out. very good candling session. Now we are moving on to buff Orpington eggs. Fertile! Yay! That's great. I know I see the chickens mating, but it's always good to get that first candling. Fertile. Buff Orpington fertile. Oh, this one's moving. Buff Orpington egg, fertile. Watch this little dark spot. There, oh, there it goes. It's moving. That little baby's moving inside the egg. It's so amazing. Okay. Last Buff Orpington. Oh, we've got 100% fertility. Look at this vein. This is a really great shot. That's what you want to see. 
Nice veining. Good job, Brinsey. Thank you, Vader. Okay, bar, uh, barred rock. I only have two of them, and I'm not sure if they're for real because this rooster was late to mature, and this one's not. So, hopefully the next one is. Oh, yes, this one is for real, so that's great. All right. I've only seen them mate once, and <laughs> so that's good to know. They are mating. All right, so all my eggs have been candled. Um, let me turn the lights back on. Okay, my eggs have been candled and three have been removed from the incubator because of infertility or possibly early death. I'm going to examine them and find out what if they were fertile or not. I'm going to just add some water to this incubator and then it will be good for the next couple of days. 20, 21 eggs now. 21 eggs in the Brinsey incubator. Alright, my little babies. Keep growing. It's good to know that they are alive and well and moving around in there. It's wonderful. I'm um, probably going to have to change the focus. Okay, this block, black ostrilorp, barred rock, black ostrilorp. Let's look at the barred rock first. I'm fairly certain that this was not a furl egg. Let me change the focus. Okay. Oh, where's the crack? Oh, that's a strong egg. <laughs> That's a really strong egg. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to go with probably infertile. I don't see any blood. I um, don't really see anything. I'm going to say it's probably not fertile. So, um... I'm guessing not the fault of the incubator at all, um, just this is completely due to chicken. Okay, um, black ostrilorp. Now, let's check this one. Oh, I broke the yolk a little bit. Hmm. I'm going to say, oh. This one I see a little bit of blood. Um, this one is probably an early death, so uh, it could be due to um, anything, really. It's not necessarily the fault of the incubator. It could be just a bad egg. Now this one is definitely not fertile at all. Okay, so it looks like I have um, two that were not fertile and one was an early death. Now, when I calculate the hatch rate for this machine, I will be calculating it based on 21 definitely fertile eggs, since in the first week, um, it's hard to tell whether it's infertile or early death, but I think that one of them was fertile and two of them were not. But either way, I'm not going to blame the incubator for any of these eggs. Let's see if I can change focus and let you get a really good shot. This is, we're close up on an infertile yolk. Nothing going on here. This one I believe was fertile due to just a tiny bit of blood. You see it right there? Just the tiniest little blood ring. It's almost can't even see it. Be not viable eggs. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. I'm so popular. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. See you later. Goodbye.